Thank you so much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Taking a look back in time, this is something kind of incredible. This happened back in 1954, 1955, Hurricane Alice. And this formed uh, pretty much uh, near this date, early in January, late December, early January, 1954, 1955. On record, there have been three hurricanes in this month. It's usually a quiet month, but this right here, this is Alice, a hurricane, and it did impact and cause damage in the Caribbean. This is actually one of the very early uh, radar shots uh, used for weather shooting out of the Virgin Islands. And you can see the core of this, this again being Alice. Here's the weather map depicting this, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, right through here. And you see this area, I know it's a little kind of grainy, hard to see. This is it's a very old weather map. This right here showing this hurricane that moved into, uh, say, near uh, Stacia, Saba, uh, St. Martin. Uh, this really impacted Anguilla, St. Bart's. Uh, this worked in as a hurricane in the month of January, in early January. Here's the track. So here's Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, just to get your bear bearings, uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, uh, over toward uh, Martinique and St. Lucia. This here developed at the tail end of a front, which sometimes you get a spin up of something happening at the tail end of a front this time of year, high pressure built into the north, and this dove right into the northeastern Caribbean, causing damage in Anguilla and uh, St. Martin. Lots of crops lost, a lot of uh, shipping issues uh, uh, with this. Uh, some of the uh, kind of docks and that sort of thing back in the 1950s were wrecked. Homes were lost as well as this moved in, and then eventually this uh, fell apart as it drifted a little bit closer to the ABC Islands and northern Venezuela. A rare occurrence to say the least temperatures water temperatures that year that winter were above average and that is the case this year so even though we're quiet and you can see here open waters of the Atlantic another front moving in water temperature is very warm so it wouldn't be incredibly surprising to see something form in the winter uh, this year. If it's gonna happen, it would be this season when the water temperatures are so warm. We have a front moving into Bermuda right now. You see the front that's working into South Florida, Northern Bahamas. It's a similar situation where uh, back then, something eventually spun up off the tail end of the front. Not seeing any signs of that right now. Bigger systems that are gonna roll into the Gulf of Mexico. I wanna get into that. I wanna show you the small and then big uh, computer model uh, perspective on that. Overall, we've had some of that dust around and spotty shower. So let me start here. Now with the tail end of one front, spotty shower, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we may see a few. Belize, mainly on the dry side. Honduras, Nicaragua, a few showers today. Spotty variety, anywhere from Suriname, Guyana, through Trinidad and Tobago, and uh, Grenada. I'll break that down further as uh, we take a look at the forecast. Tail end of the front tomorrow, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, passing shower. This is our Wednesday afternoon. And this catching your attention, moisture built Building in the Gulf of Mexico, by the time we get into the end of the week, there's going to be a bigger system developing. So look at this. So here we are in the Caribbean, the United States, my friends in Canada, back through Mexico. Here we go. This is by the time we get into Wednesday, late on Wednesday, one front clipping by. This one, you can see here, I want to take it out on time, Wednesday into Thursday, moves into the southeast U.S. and then moves off. But the one behind it, that one is going to be a little bit bigger and stronger. By Thursday, you see this one here, Bermuda, we'll see some rain working it. But look at that. You see right here through Houston, uh, so you get back toward Texas, Louisiana, some snow back to the north over toward uh, Missouri. But this here is going to work its way into the Gulf of Mexico and across by the time we get into late this week and the weekend in particular, Saturday, Saturday night, Southeast U.S., Northern Bahamas, again, the bottom of the front, the tail end of the front, will clip us by in our northern sections over toward uh, parts of Mexico, the Yucatan, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and uh, Cayman Islands, uh, or rather Cuba, I should say, and give us another little cool down, plus the potential of some strong storms Southeast U.S. as we get into the weekend. So something to watch as we get down the road. Now, Trinidad and Tobago, the next couple days, no wash out, but a 40% chance of showers, about a 30 to 40% chance in Grenada, and holding on to that 30 
30% chance of isolated showers. St. Vincent the Grenadines. Barbados, a little higher today. 40% chance, 20% chance tomorrow, 30% chance on Thursday. 30 to 40% chance the next few days in St. Lucia. As we start to get to the north, rain chance goes down. 20% chance tomorrow in Martinique. 20 to 30% chance in Dominica. And then as we swing back toward Guadeloupe, 10 to 20% chance. You see how it's minimal. 20 to 30% chance Antigua Barbuda. Slightly better chance of a shower tomorrow. Same thing, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Rain chance very low as we get back toward Anguilla and St. Bart's. 10 to 20% chance St. Martin, Saba, Stacia. And as we get into uh, the next few days in Puerto Rico, limited chance of rain Thursday. Just kind of that front clipping by to the north. Rain chance at 10 to 20%. 20% chance on Thursday. Uh, we'll see that again, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Now, Dominican Republic a little higher tomorrow. I showed you that front sliding by the Turks and Caicos and Dominican Republic and Haiti. So the rain chance bumping up to 30% for tomorrow. Passing shower possible in Jamaica over toward uh, Montego Bay and may get one or two. Same thing Cayman Islands. Rain chance for us about 20 to 30% chance. Bahamas watching the front sliding by. Same thing in the Turks and Caicos. Passing shower possible with those fronts. Cuba rain chance holding on to a 10 to 20% chance. It will get higher Friday into Saturday though with that system in the Gulf. Belize rain chance minimal. Best chance southern sections in Belize. Yucatan of Mexico, 10 to 20% chance, 20 to 30% chance in Aruba, and about a 10 to 20% chance Curacao and Bonaire. Keeping an eye on some of that dust, of course, that causes some extra breathing issues, especially if you have breathing issues. Aside from the dust, I'm thinking of you again with that. That's why I always want to point out the dust. Uh, allergies, breathing issues. Bermuda, a higher chance of rain today. It's going to be one front after another the next few weeks. Costa Rica, rain chance 30% the next two days, 30 to 40% chance in Guyana. 30 to 40% chance in Suriname and about a 20 to 30% chance in northern Venezuela. So took a little uh, look back in time at, yeah, the possibility of a hurricane this month, although it's, it's rare. Uh, again, three hurricanes have formed in the month of January. I mentioned that one, uh, 1955 Alice. Now for us, short term, front after front impacting our northern sections, some spotty showers with them. That bigger system, I'm gonna keep an eye on this week, that's going to build from Texas back toward Florida, the Bahamas and Cuba, and watching those areas of dust. And of course, monitoring those earthquakes, thinking of our friends as well in Japan with that uh, very uh, big and deadly earthquake uh, just uh, yesterday, uh, earlier in the uh, day with that 7.5, 7.6 magnitude quake. All right, thank you for joining me, thinking of you, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.